here we are. Yep. May long weekend, 2019. And we've been snowed on. We've had rain. Lots of rain, lots of snow. Well, not lots of snow, but enough. It's melted now though. Not much sun. A little bit of sun, not enough. No. But your typical Alberta May long weekend, of course, because it is Alberta. And it is May long weekend. And I guess I would like to call myself hardcore, but then I look at our trailer and go, well, it's easy to be out in the elements when you have a trailer with a furnace and you've got power and we can go over to the showers. Electrocator. We're not really hardcore. <laughs> We're comfortable. We, well, hardcore, I guess, is just saying, yeah, I don't care if it snows or if it rains. I'm going camping anyway. We spent the majority of our time outside. We haven't pretty much, yeah. Put a tarp up. We've got a tarp over the fire, yeah. and uh, yeah, we can have a fire and be nice and warm. It just means we spend more money on firewood because we have daytime fires. But it's been fine been great. We brought lots of clothes. Trust me, I always bring too many things. Unfortunately, I didn't get to wear my shorts or my t-shirts this weekend, but uh, lots of layers. We've stayed warm. I brought a hoodie. <laughs> didn't need five hoodies, just one. Hey, just a minute. Who bought the raincoat on the way out? I did buy a raincoat because yeah. it was going to rain for the whole weekend, but it's a Sunday and actually it's not too bad today, so we actually haven't been rained on. No. I put my raincoat away yesterday. <laughs> it's been great. I have a winter coat. I have a rain jacket. I have zippered hoodies. I have hoodies. I have sweatshirts. I have layers. All the shoes to match. Jackets. Exactly. Have you seen my boots? <laughs> she's going to show you her boots. This is what she's been doing all day. Check these boots out. Oh, I gotta take it off. I gotta show. <laughs> these are the cutest little rain boots. I love them. They come in bright yellow and bright blue and red. Mark's Rick Warehouse. I love them. They're super comfy and actually I didn't expect them to be warm, but they are warm. But of course I'm wearing trail socks, so that helps too. Hey. True. I got hiking boots and hiking shoes on. So yeah, we, good. we bought hiking shoes, hiking boots, and they're really comfy. We, You've been wearing them all weekend. Yep, yeah. off and on. Yeah. yeah, mine are super comfy. So we'd start a hiking channel, but people are doing that, so we're not going to do that. But we will go on some hikes. Well, I wouldn't say we were hikers. It wouldn't make sense. No. <laughs> like I'm gonna hike down to the bathroom <laughs> that's true so yeah we haven't quite ventured that far yet if you want to check out hiking videos check out uh, journey Alberta and live on Canada those guys do hiking up like the top of Prairie Mountain and stuff which is not something we're gonna do anytime soon no we're more next summer yeah well no this summer I think we're gonna be doing some trail hikes but not yeah, we're not mountain climbers by any means. No. And I'm not even going to say I'm even close to that. I have the boots. She's got the shoes for her now. Yes. Just in case. Yes. I think I only have about five pairs of shoes with me this weekend. I'm doing good. Yeah. But we just took a drove. Uh, a drove. We took a drove. She took a drove. <laughs> we took a drive out to um, Blue Rock Campground just to check it out. And there's lots of trails, hiking trails between here and uh, Blue Rock. And around here too, in Sandy McNabb here, there's lots of trails. Yeah, this weekend. They're easy trails. We're at Sandy McNabb, just in case we didn't mention that. Yeah. So look for a review of that campground and for Blue Rock as well. Yeah. Starring Heather this time. It's her turn. Starring me. Love that. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we saw critters today. I was so excited. They loved me. We saw a deer, and he looked right at me. And we saw a bighorn sheep. But they were pretty ugly, bighorn sheep. 
Well, they're used losing their winter fur. Yeah, they're not they're not pretty animals when they're losing their winter fur. They're, they look like they've been beaten around a bit. Well, that's the way they're supposed to look when they're losing their winter fur, brother. But they sure liked me. That's true. Oh, I have the best picture of him just looking straight at me. Yep. We'll show you that picture right now. <laughs> Cute hay. <hate. laughs> I love him. I want to Photoshop my face into that picture. And here's that picture. <laughs> he loves me, see? <laughs> oh boy. We have friends out here right now, but they're in a different loop. See, we, we come to Sandy because, especially this time of year in the spring and fall for sure, because uh, Alberta weather, you never know. And we like to have electricity <laughs> and to be able to plug in the electric heater. Yeah, we were out at Blue Rock. There's maybe half a dozen people camping there. Yeah, there's no power. There's no power there. And yeah, you need a generator this time of year. People actually in tents. There's people actually here there's... in Sandy who are in tents. I'm kind of crazy, but I guess. So that's hardcore. That would be hardcore. This is a little bit luxurious, don't you think? Well, yeah, I mean, true. <laughs> we don't have any hot water, that's one problem. Oh, uh, our trailer. trailer. It's broken. The trailer goes in next week for, or two weeks from now, for, my, for hot water tank replacement, so. It's broken. That's okay. It failed the end of the last season and basically sprung a leak and it's in the tank itself, so. There you go, it's a 2016 trailer and we're already replacing the hot water tank. Well, there's been lots of little things along the way. Good thing there's, what's it called? Warranty. Extended warranty, <laughs> which we bought. It's still not sure if that was worth it, but we're starting to use it, that's for sure. And it doesn't cover what the salesman says they cover, which was everything. <laughs> and, you know, we talked to our dealer, and our dealer was basically... Nope, doesn't cover LED lights. So we have failing LED lights. Not covered. Nope. So remember that, if you're buying a trailer. Especially new. Yeah, be careful. Because <laughs> they do sell you a lot of stuff that's not actually there. Well, and what I'm getting from people is that the new trailers, you're always gonna end up taking it in the first couple of years to get all these little things fixed. I don't get it, it's new. Yeah, I think it's just basically quality assurance is just not there. They don't really, they, they slam these things out probably 50 trailers a day. I'm thinking that we should be buying something that's about between three and five years old because then all that stuff has already been taken care of. Already broke down, Hopefully, already taken care of. Or the person selling it's just got a lemon like, you know, and wants to get rid of it. There's that. There's that. But at least I think now that we have had a trailer motor home for a few years now. We're starting to understand what can go wrong and then troubleshoot it. Good thing is in a trailer, there's not a huge amount that can go wrong because there's only so many things, right? So most of those for us have been most of those little quirks that are already starting to get worked out. And this year for a lot of stuff, I'll be fixing it myself rather than taking it in because that's the other thing they try to sell you on, is they'll say, yeah, you can get a six-day turnaround for repairs. What they yeah. don't tell you is, oh yeah, it's three to four weeks to get it in before yeah. you can get that six-day turnaround. So that's why we didn't get the hot water heater fixed at the end of the season, because we still wanted to use it. Yeah, we, we, had just... a, we had it booked in and we ended up going camping, so it was a nice weekend. and Yeah. Yeah, but we go camping. So you can live without hot water. We, we boil water when we need it for washing dishes and our coffee's boiled in a kettle anyway. So yeah, it's not too bad. We don't shower in here right now because we're in facilities that have showers. But in the summertime when we're dry camping, yeah, we tend to actually use a shower here. So yeah, <clears throat> we probably will want the hot water this summer at some point. So yeah, it's booked in for the end of May. Well, we have we two weekends where we can't camp, so it works out perfectly. Mm -hmm. We have company coming. But we will be camping next weekend, probably. 
You think? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. We'll see. Good chance. We'll see what the weather's like. Ha, ha, ha. It was snowing and raining. We came anyway. Yeah, that's kind of a thing. Well, you can't plan for good weekends or it's you'd never camp. Can't plan for a good May long weekend anyway because it never happens. It's like once every 10 years you get a nice weekend in May. Well, I think if we went to the interior of BC. Somewhere or like that, but yeah. California? Maybe. I'm not, I'm not driving to California for a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try. I just wondered if you'd catch on. Mm -hmm. It's Alberta, May long. It's yeah. pretty much how it goes. We, last year we had a good weekend. Last year was nice. Yeah. This year in April when we camped was nicer than the May long. True. We'll figure. True. It's normal. So but we, we had, didn't think last year that we were going to get summer yeah because winter lasted a long time last year winter just wouldn't end last year and then it was smoke and then it was a with snow smoke. and smoke yeah so we got a good soaking out here so that's good that means that there'd be no fire ban for a while that's exactly what i was just thinking i was thinking no it's okay let it rain so that we can have some fires campfires and they should let it rain during the week, though. <laughs> and then weekends, just be nice and sunny. And then rain for a week. Nice and sunny on the weekends. Okay. We'll arrange that. Yeah. Yeah. Just for you. Good. Yeah. Good. And then you can sit out in your lounge chair and have a nap in the sun. That's true. Go for hikes. Actually wear a t-shirt. Oh, you're wearing a t-shirt right now. I am wearing Underneath a t-shirt. Underneath layers. Yeah. Are you going to show them your new t-shirt? I am wearing a t-shirt. So. Yep, Alberta camping. That's us. So I am wearing a t-shirt. I and have that's one. that's it. She's got four on. That's a lie. Or three. I have this. And then I have my camp sweatshirt. And then I have this layer. And mittens. It's not really that cold out, <laughs> but you know. I get to chill. And if I, when I get a chill, then... I don't get warm very fast. It's hard to get warmed up once I'm chilled. This is true. I might put two pairs of socks on. <laughs> but if we start a fire, I won't need that. No. So yeah, it's Sunday and we're looking uh, one more night. And then I have to go back. And then Heather goes back to work. I get sad every day that we have to go back. The packing up thing, it's my sad day. I've been here since Wednesday, so it's been pretty rough. I had to work. But I tell you, I packed Friday morning before I went to work. My car was packed, and then I didn't go home. I went straight from work out here. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of kicking myself, though, that I didn't bring my slippers or my pillows. Man, I was mad yes. when I was driving along Deerfoot first thing in the morning get, going to work. And all of a sudden, I realized I hadn't packed my pillows. I love my pillows. It's really her first camping trip without her pillows. It's yeah. pretty sad for her. There's pillows here. It's not that big of a deal, but I, I keep have... my pillows here. I'm just like, they're pillows. They're not the same as the pillows you sleep on at home. No, but they're still pillows. No, my home pillows are the comfiest things. But they're still pillows. Yeah, but... It's like when you go to somebody else's house and you just, the first night you don't sleep as well because it's just not your bed. Right. It's just not your pillow. Hotels are like that too, right? Kind of, but they're pillows. It depends how attached you are to your pillows. <laughs> well, can we say that I'm attached to my pillows then? Heather is slightly attached to her pillows. I like my pillows. They're comfy. They're the one is a feather pillow. I love my feather pillow. And the other one's that, you know, where you put your head on it and then it pops back up. Memory foam. That's the word I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know what? This bed is really super comfy, though. Because we have a memory foam on it. I need a memory foam on my bed at home. Hmm. It has memory foam on it. 
not like this. No, it's not three inches thick, but it's got memory foam on it. Well, it needs one of these. And it's 100 years old. Yeah, but the one at home is pretty tall already, and you can barely get into it now. So I'd have to put a step stool next to your bed so you can get into it at home. True story. I thought he loved me. <laughs> I do. I was going to get you a step stool. <laughs> You're so kind. I almost need a step stool for this bed. Exactly. It's like So I can tall. get two step stools. Yeah. One for home, one for the trailer. You're so generous. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's for dinner tonight? Steak. Yeah. It's steak night. Steak it's Sunday. Night. Steak night. So we're having steak, eggplant, zucchini, mushrooms. mushrooms, onions. Yeah. It all works. Yeah. It's going to be delicious. I'm excited. That sounds really good. It is. See, by the time it's dinner time out camping, I'm hungry. And we've been outside all day. Because we don't typically eat lunch. We, when we get up, when we wake up, usually around nine-ish, eight, nine, we have a coffee. And then around 10, 1030, we'll have a big breakfast. Yeah. So, or start making it at least. So we don't really eat lunch. We have a protein bar, or little snacks. Whatever. Yeah, we don't eat lunch until... Dinner. Dinner time. <laughs> I, well, I did bring out some hippie snacks. Yeah. Because who doesn't like hippie snacks? Cauliflower crisps. They're actually really good. Yeah. They're kind of in between a chip and a cracker. And this is classic ranch. Mmm, yum. Yummy. So, anybody on a keto diet? Mm hmm. Anybody that's a vegan? I believe this is vegan because it says plant based. Let All the flowers are plants, so I checked that last time. You are such a smart aleck. It's gluten free. Did you say anything about vegan? Coconut milk. It is vegan. Yeah, because you look at the ingredients, it's definitely vegan. It's super yummy. This These are like out of Burnaby. Down. BC. Yeah. That's why it's hippie snacks. I was going to say, is it, is that where all the hippies live? Pretty sure that's where most of the hippies are is in BC. Uh-oh. What? Would they be happy or offended that we're talking about people from Burnaby being hippies? I don't think from Burnaby especially, but... That's just where these are manufactured. A lot of hippies are. Isn't that more the island? Hippieville. Or the little islands around the island? What are they called? The Gulf Islands? Sure. Yeah. Sure? <laughs> sure. We'll just go with that. That works. <laughs> okay. So what other exciting things is going on in your world, Heather? Um. Move that away from the microphone. Oh. <laughs> like life in general? Yep. Well, what is it, six weeks and I'll be done work for another year? Mm -hmm. That's exciting. Because you know what that means. Camping. <laughs> More of this. For hopefully a whole month. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what the plans are. We never really book it. We just go. No, we haven't got nothing booked for the summer yet. And I don't think we've ever, I think we've we, booked once, maybe? No, I don't think so. I don't think we've even booked once. Oh, we did. Where? We went out to Crimson. Yeah, we booked Crimson once, but that was yeah. like a fluke because we got it the same week or the couple of days before we actually went to camp in there. Yeah, well, the reason being is Paul and Diane were going. They had a site booked, and they said, come with us. There has to be a site open up, and lo and behold, one did. Yep. And it was in the same loop. So, yeah, that worked out well. Generally, we do first come, first serve. Once the peak hits, well, last summer, we actually started doing more of the tri-campgrounds without power, which was nice. 
It was nice. Yes. Well, the solar panels. It... Similar plan this year, I think, because we've got so many campgrounds we've never actually been to. They seem kind of cool. So Blue Rock is one of them I want to check out. Yeah. And last year we did Patty's Flats quite a bit. Yeah, we stayed there a lot. And here, Sandy. So we want to do Beaver Flats next next this season. Maybe Little Elbow. There is a site at Beaver Flats that I really want. I'm desperate for it. It's a, is it a pull through? Mm, kind of. Yeah. And it's right, the road goes along, the pull throughs here, the river's right here. I want that site so bad. I'm sure it's high demand. Yeah. It's the first site to get chosen. I'm time. just going to stand there and wait and wait for them to leave. She's got six weeks off school, so she can do that. <laughs> just leave her out there. Yeah. Take I'll just stand and wait. Actually, the really nice site we got over at Patty Flats for that extended period of time was because I stopped and lo was looking at the tag to find out when the people were leaving. Yep. And then I noticed that he was packing some things up. So I stopped, and you just have to ask, I, I, are you packing up to leave? And he was like, yeah, would you like this site? I was like, yeah, because it was a really nice site. So I filled out the thing. He took his tag off. I put mine on. He was still packing. And I told him to take his time. But at least I knew I got the really good site. Yep. And you were like right around the corner with the trailer. You know what I can't believe? I can't believe people spend the money and pay for a site knowing what the forecast is. They camp for one night and then they pack everything up and take off. There's been a few people out here this weekend doing that. I'm not. I don't get if you it. ever watch these videos, why? <laughs> yeah. Unless somebody's had like some sort of medical issue or they're not well or their children aren't well or whatever but really they weren't people in tents that were leaving it was people with nice trailers and heat mm -hmm. that were leaving and there's no cell phone signal out here so right you wouldn't be able to tell if somebody's sick at home no that's true no we and but with a booster not far from here up the highway you can get cell service yeah if you want it. We have, I have a booster in my truck, so I use it for work. So I'm able to actually just drive up the road and get cell service. Otherwise, it's about a 10-minute drive to the next area you can get cell. Which isn't bad. It, it be a big difference going up to Blue Rock. That's a long drive to get cell service. Yeah, Blue Rock's about 20 minutes away from here. A little further west and deeper in the mountains. And yeah, that's, there's no service out there at all. I wanted to go check today, though, because we left our 17-year-old at home alone. He survived. Yep, he's alive. That was good. Didn't want to come camping with us. No, he's got things to do. He had to work, for one, but then he had, you know, friend things, a social life. So we don't have a social life, so we just go camping. I go see shows and stuff. I visit with friends once in a while. It's true. But after being in a classroom all day, it's tiring. I you don't get sick go. of people. No. I just am tired. Sick of little people. <laughs> sick of little people. I love little people. <laughs> they're sweet. The children are really nice. I like them. Or else I wouldn't be a teacher, I guess. It's true. I guess if I didn't like kids, that would be a really bad occupation. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? It'd be like all this irritation constantly. But they actually just amuse me. They're funny. Like me. Like you. They come up with the funniest things. Like me. It's true. I'm starting to get cold. I think we should light a fire. Yeah. Yeah, this video has gone on way too long. Probably. True enough. All right, are we done here? We're done here. Happy camping. <laughs> From Heather. From John. <laughs>